So this has just been discovered, and I want to make it clear, neither myself nor the modder are angry at this. We just find it funny, something to laugh at and move on. On Steam, you can collect cards. Collect the full set and you unlock a badge. Do it again, you get the next level of badge and so on, until you reach the max level of 5. Here's the Warhammer 2 badges, they have them for most titles, Napoleon, Rome 2, Medieval 2, however it gets interesting when it comes round to Rome 1. What? What is this? This is an entirely new faction icon, and in addition, what happened to Carthage? Okay, originally I thought this was some cut content, when looking for faction icons, they perhaps selected the wrong folder and went with Rome 1 Alpha version instead, or something, hence the new icon. After spending hours and hours digging, trying to find out what this is, I eventually realised something. This is not even Macedon. In Rome 1, this is Macedon or this in Alexander. Only the remaster had Macedon like that. I spent hours digging. In conclusion, it's not cut content. I eventually found this mod here, from 2012, and voila. The icon is here. So the guy at CA who made these, I don't know how it happened, but stupidly found this and just assumed it must be Rome won Total War, but it gets even dumber. This is the faction icon for the Bosporan Kingdom, but if we look beneath it, it says Gaul. If we look at the community badge, they labelled this the Bosporan Kingdom in a mod from 2012 as Gaul in OG Rome. How stupid, but it gets dumber. Look at this, Macedon symbol, Carthage name, and then if we go back over to the mod, we see the same Macedon logo, labelled as Macedon, but if you don't pay attention and think the beneath name is the name for the one above, then it says Carthage. How thick could you get? Mistake after mistake, whoever made this should not have been doing it for the Rome Total War version. Again, myself and the modder just find this funny. We don't care. Fun fact, the modder who created this back in 2012 was a guy named Ahal, the same guy who is now head modder behind the new mod for Rome Remastered, RTR Imperium Serectum. Ten years at least, he has been a part of this community. Good on him, and you know what, I think it's kind of cool, that this modder's work has been immortalised on Steam forever by pure accident. A developer at CA believed this modder's work was so good it was their own companies. That's pretty impressive. The same faction icon here can also be found in the mod Imperium Selectum now as well, but with a different background and representing the Galatians. I just found this to be funny. I don't do stories like this, but after all that digging around and eventually solving the puzzle, I felt I should get it out there. Well done, A-Howl. CA, don't fix it. You know what? Actually, take all your own icons down and feature other modders work up there instead, maybe. As an honour to them. And I hope you all got a good chuckle over this. I have been Melkor. Subscribe for more. Share with anyone you think may be interested. But for now, until the next one, Mel gone.